When you are creating a solution in Power Platform, you may add Power Apps, Power Automate flows, and everything else into this solution. And when you want to export it, you may export it either as managed or unmanaged solution. If you looked up this video, most probably you know the difference between unmanaged and managed export. But regardless, I will explain it. If you already know that, there is timeline in the description. Just skip to the part that you really need to work your way around and don't waste your time in the beginning. If you are not familiar with managed and unmanaged export, I will have a brief discussion in the beginning and I will explain it to you. So don't worry about that one. Now, in this video, I want to show you how you can convert a managed solution to an unmanaged one. So basically, a solution that was not supposed to be changed and touched. We want to open it up and convert it to something that we can edit it again. How did we get into this? If you search for it, you definitely know. But in this video, I will walk you through one simple scenario that may put you in this trouble. So let's get into it and not wasting time. Let's start the story like this. We create a small power app. Then we add one or two flows to it to work together. We may start in a solution or we may create a solution and later on we add the app and the flows to it because all of a sudden we realize that's a corporate IT policy that everything that goes to our UATO production environment it has to go as a solution. Great. So, so far, we have a solution with an app and one or two flows inside it. And IT application support says the apps that are in the default environment that you created, we are not going to take care of it. We don't take the ownership unless you deploy it to dev, so our development team will work on it, or you deploy it to UAT and production that we only do the support. Bottom line is that if your solution goes to dev environment, it has to be unmanaged export, which means that the solution that goes here is a copy of this guy, but people here are free to change and update and work with it. While if you're sending it to UAT or production, it has to be managed export, which means this solution cannot be changed after it is deployed to UAT or production. Let's assume that our company is a small company and things are a lot easier. So instead of having another dev environment, we build everything in our default environment and we eventually push it to UAT and then production. So the only export that we have is managed. Logically, in this small environment, it's a good idea for us to get regular unmanaged export of the solution as backup, but we don't think about these things and we say, okay, who's going to delete that? This is going to stay here and we're all good, considering that Power Apps has versions. We really don't need to do backups which can be fine unless you forget about this guy. Remember James Smith became our CEO since that day he decided that he wants to be the admin of everything. Dude, admin of cloud? Yes. Admin of washrooms? Yes, I want to be admin everywhere. So this guy all of a sudden comes in and just by mistake or intentionally, he deletes this guy and say, poof, all of a sudden we don't have solution one. All we are left with is no solution, but we have the latest managed export and we have managed deployment on our UAT environment. So today video challenge is to get this managed export and import it to the default environment in an unmanaged fashion. So basically we want an unmanaged solution so that we can again open it and make changes with it. Does it sound familiar? Let's start with it. Inside Power Platform, so let's say Power Apps and Power Automate Platform, I have created a solution called my very important project. And this one is not a very complex one. If I just open it, you will see inside this guy, I have an app, which I call it a nice app, and I have a flow that is called Power Apps. Great. So my app is a very simple one. This app has only one single screen called SCR Home. On this page, there is a text box or text input that has nothing to display. It has enter client name, and when we click this, greeting button, it makes a call to the Power Apps flow dot run and passes the client name and it returns the greeting value from that flow. And it's going to display it here. So if I just run it and I say, for example, Adi Reza, and I click on greeting message, 
it makes the call to that flow and returns me the message, hello, Alurazar. So as you can guess, that flow is nothing more than just a hello world flow. Now let me open the flow so you can see what is inside it. And if I just click on edit, you will see inside this flow, I have one trigger as Power Apps V2, which accepts one parameter called client name, and it returns just a string that says hello and adds a client name to the end of it. So the very basic combination of flow and app that I could put together. So let's quickly do the export of this and see what we have. So let's say I go back to the solutions and for this very important project, let me expand it a little bit. I can click on this button and I click on export solution. I've covered putting everything in one solution and deploying it from one environment to another environment in my Udemy courses. So really, I'm not going to get into the details of this, but at the moment, if I just want to export it, I need to publish it first so that every changes that I made in any project in every element inside that solution is ready to be exported. So you also need to click on run in a real life environment. So it checks for all the issues that I don't want to do that at the moment. It doesn't matter for this case, but generally in your real work, please do the checking before you deploy. And usually you get lots of accessibility issues and warnings, which may or may not be okay, depending on the environment that you work in. Regardless, let's put that aside and focus on the work that we have. And as you can see, I can export it as managed or unmanaged. If it is unmanaged, I can restore it here and start working with it. So when I import an unmanaged export that can be changed after you import it, while when it is exported as managed for UAT or production environment, like what we have here, this solution cannot be changed after it is imported, which is our scenario. So I say managed, let's just accept the default version and I click on export. It takes a while, so you just wait for this guy to complete on the top of the screen until it shows you the download button. And the job is done. Now we can download it. You click on download and you find a file in the download folder. So this is the file that has been exported. Remember, it is managed. So if you import it, you shouldn't be able to change it, which is okay for our UAT or production environment that nobody's supposed to change it. but if this guy is deleted, we are having troubles importing it because even if we successfully import this guy here, we will not be able to make changes into it, which is not what we want. So in old school terms, we have already lost our code. But it's fine. Now for a second, let's act like Mr. Smith. So Mr. Smith comes here and deletes this guy. There we go. It gives you a warning that, okay, when you delete it, it cannot be undone. And we are actually trying to undo it. It also tells you that, that all the elements are deleted. And yes, some elements are left there. They are not actually deleted. And those items that are not deleted can become extremely annoying if you just delete this. I have another video about it. I put a link here right on the top of this screen. If you're interested, you can click on it. And after this video, you can go there and watch that. Regardless, let's delete this guy. And great, the solution is deleted. Now we are left with nothing in the environment that we were working. And in this example, I'm doing it in environment YouTube demos, which is going to be the environment that we were supposed to work with. And we have our unmanaged solution. And now we want to import the managed solution here in a way that it can be edited or it should be unmanaged. And all we are left with is this one single file. And this is where the work starts. So let's examine and see what we have in hand. It says manage and it's a zip file. So let's expand it and see what is inside it. Extract all. And I click on extract. And these are the files that we have. Canvas app, workflows, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. But here is the key. There is a file called solution.xml. If I just right click on this, and open it with Notepad, for example, you will see inside this guy, there is a property called managed, which says one. This flag decides whether this package is managed or unmanaged. So basically, if I just convert it to zero, 
it will not be managed anymore. I can simply close it and save it. And here we go. Let me just right click on it and then zip it again. Send to compressed zip folder. And I need to remove this managed from here. So it's going to be unmanaged. So let's say unmanaged. Does it look real? Let's see if it works. I can come back here and I can say import solution. Browse and I can pick my unmanaged and I click on open next. And it does not work. Yes, although that's a place that you need to make changes, just unzipping and zipping it again, it says, no, 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 this is not my file. So how can we make it work? To do that, you need something that can directly go there inside that zip file and edit it. So this zip file, unmanaged, is useless. I just get rid of it. This one, I extracted it to show you what is inside it. Again, we don't need it. And I only have this guy. I need a way that I can expand it. I can directly open it and edit it inside it. A program like 7-Zip will do that. Just Google it, 7-Zip download and download it, install it, and then we look at it again together. You can download and install 7-Zip from 7-Zip.org and pick the latest version depending on environment that you have. And here you have it. After you are done with the installation, if you go to your zip file, you can right click on it and click on 7-Zip and you can click on Open Archive. So it opens the files inside 7-Zip. Now here I can expand on the solution and I click on Edit. It opens it in Notepad and then I can change this flag of Manage to zero. Now I can save it and I can close it. Do you want to update this archive? Okay, so yes, I actually update the XML file directly inside the zip file. Fantastic. I'm done with this and let's go back to our solutions and see if we can import it. Now, if I click on this import solution, I can click on browse again. I can click on this one, which is apparently managed, but it is not. I can click on open and I click on next. This time it is happy and I can click on import. It takes a few seconds to import, depending on how big the solution is. You wait and bingo, it says solution. My very important project imported successfully. Let's click on it and see if we can edit it. Now it looks like a managed solution to me for the app. I can click on this guy, edit is enabled. I can click on the nice app and it opens it successfully inside Power Apps. And there we go, here is our project and it is editable. I can make changes, I can change colors. For example, take this, turn it to red. I can run it again, I can save and publish it save and there we go we can publish it and we're all good with this one which means we have converted a managed export to unmanaged the only thing we need to do this file is not actually managed anymore so let's say we change to unmanaged or something like that which doesn't show managed anymore i can see why you are watching this video most probably you have a problem like this and you only have a managed export, I really hope this video helped you take care of the situation. Well, we are done and that was all about it. It was supposed to be a very short video, but I decided to add a little bit in the beginning so that everybody can enjoy and actually use the content. Keep that in mind, it's a hack. It works today as I'm recording this video and there is a good chance that later on when you check it maybe a few months or a few years later, this is not working anymore. I sincerely wish Microsoft does not close this door. Anyway, thank you for watching and happy coding. I'll see you soon in the next video.